And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. at the 33 following a good pickup of eight the success there charles coming on the outside of the field the ground game curious to see if that continues as we progress yeah we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass but in this case with strictly the run game you can be creative there as well run it inside run it outside keep the defense off balance first rep of the game for josh jacobs and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw. He's got it to Williams. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Damian Wilson in on the stop. On second down now, it's Jacobs. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. throw here and he fires one that's intercepted picked off by Juan Thornhill and a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30 yard line time will tell if that's an interception that rattles the rookie here first drive on the road and you know the discussion going into the game centered on okay let's get out nice and easy take care of the football we're on the road you're a youngster let's not make mistakes early but now the conversation will shift to, okay, put it behind you, move on. Long way to go in this one. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And he has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path, a significant number. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. It's a brings up third and three. The first carry now. This is Williams. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Let's go, dude. Let's go. 23. 23. First and 10 at the 16 yard line. On first down, Corbin. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 10 On second down, Williams. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Damian Williams. His third touchdown now on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately, try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up to block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll make this a second and long. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. On play action, it's Mahomes. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That's going to be caught. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Got his man, that's Tyrell Williams. The first down pass complete to Tyrell Williams. A game of four. It's now a second and six. Second and six. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 33. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory down at the 33. Now back to throw. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. A few issues here on the offensive line, apparently. He got sacked five times last week. They got to him here in the first quarter. And I would think that running the ball would be paramount here because it's a different team they're facing, but they watch the film as well. So they'll take many of those same principles and try and apply them in this game to see if they fixed what was wrong with them in the last game. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. 
And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Here's Hill on the return. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, they could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how have we, we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up a third and one. They'll try to run for it. Here's Williams. And yeah, Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Back deep is DeAnthony Thomas. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. This is taken around the 12. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs with touchdown number seven on the year. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to seven. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try to hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On the ground, this is Williams. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Mahomes will bring him up first and 10. And he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They go back to the ground with Williams. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And there's the first tackle of the game for Carl Joseph. He's one of those safeties that you can utilize in any way you want. But I will have to say, I think the number one thing he does best is tackle. From the 22, Mahomes incomplete. 
Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now. And that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Off the draw, here's Williams. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Second and ten. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls and you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. Let's make these babies cry. They'll drop the throw. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. I will remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Tyrell Williams was the intended target, but it's going to be second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. This is caught by Williams. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll set up to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll look to throw here. The open man here, Renfro. Eight yards and the completion, but now they face third down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They're going to look to throw. He's got his man. It's Williams. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Second and one. That's going to be caught by Williams for a Raiders touchdown. Tyrell Williams 
his sixth touchdown of the season as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Mahomes now nearly perfect. Nine of 10 in this first half. It's first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. To throw once more on second and ten. Mahomes, it's Hill, complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the ten-yard line. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. On first down, Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. No problem there on the extra point. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'm going to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. This quarterback now hitting on two-thirds of his passes. Ten for 15 so far. First and ten. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So we've come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. This will be taken in at the one. And he's going to get taken down inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's second down. 
Mahomes now to throw. It's Williams on the catch. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 45-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 45-yard line. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Part, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he's got room. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Damian Williams. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Butker on for the PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. It's coming and down he goes. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. Second and long. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now he's got it. 12 more yards there and another first down. The beauty of route running is it doesn't matter what position, everyone's doing the same thing. In this case, tight end, selling the vertical route. Get the defensive back on his heels, break off for the corner. And with good timing, you get a completion as we just saw there. They'll run it with Jacobs, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and goal. Handing it off to Brown. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Raiders get a score closer. Now the Raider offense will stay out there as they'll line up to go for two. They'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do, and, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he'd had hands, he'd be playing on offense. Right? Yeah, that's true. You've said that before. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion in the field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Throwing is Mahomes on third. It's Kelsey on the ground. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Mahomes now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On second down, Corbin. And he'll get it down on the play to the 36. On the NFL scoreboard, third quarter now from Jacksonville. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. Mahomes now on first down. And he finds his tight end, Salik. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Now Williams, he is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. I don't even know why this team showed up. To throw, it's Mahomes. They complete it to Hill. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Mahomes now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Again, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves them to a manageable third and two situation. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now here's Mahomes. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Mike Burton. His first touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Butker now to add the extra point. 
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Brings up second and seven at the 17-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Well, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. And they get the football, but not much on the return here as he stopped at the seven-yard line. So they get the takeaway, but that's just step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can take it away again. Yeah, still three-score game, though, fourth quarter. They'll come out throwing here on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. This quarterback now 12 of 17 through the air as he leads his guys up on first down. He'll look to throw. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. And the Raiders first down. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Jacobs. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. Second and 11. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Nice job by Juan Thornhill there to get a hand in and break up the play. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. He's got a man. It's Williams. Williams loses the football. And it's picked up by the... Chiefs. Yeah, KC ready, offense ready, out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, that turnover might just about do it here. Fourth quarter, the lead that you've got, they can just run the football, run the clock. Exactly right. They played smart. A couple of first downs, and this one should just about be over. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone 
open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 44. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. They'll run it with Williams. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellows up front in order to bring this one home. On third down, here's Williams. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Give him nine on the carry, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Fielded about a yard deep, and it'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started, and the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good word. I like it, man, because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Now a desperation throw, deep depth. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in, touchdown, touchdown Oakland. Oakland. Darren Waller, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that deficit. They'll try and throw for it. And he's taken down, a chief sack. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the the toe to the leather on that one. Their chances 15, of getting that done, 15, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. 
Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Down, 70, Indy. Right there, 61, Matchbox Light. Revive. He can run for it, and he will. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. So finally, at this stage of the game, he lets his legs carry him for a big-time first down. But I think this is all set up by his eyes throughout the game. He's been taking it all in as he's watched this thing unfold. And finally, the eyes carried the legs and took him downfield. You're right. His longest run of the game waited until the fourth quarter, and maybe that lulled the defense to sleep a little bit. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Kansas City, it took a while, but they finally get that first win after four straight losses. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, the loss will move them back to three and two on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.